Right, so uh, what we've got here is uh, the latest bit of code, which we've got PWM using our two pots, and uh, we've incorporated the uh, PWM control into the BW the, the BLDC with the sensors. So now we've kind of got the first pass of something which will be useful in the in a car. It's not perfect, and it needs refining, and I need to get get rid of some of the kinks in it. But it's it's getting there. So what we've got is we've got a power pack, which is actually on the full potential of the motor now. So it's now 7.5 volts, and we've got it's doing the oh that's interesting. So we've got PWM, you see, and that's that's not enough to actually turn the motor. Now the way it works at the moment is is that it limits the PWM. <coughs> uh, it limits the mark. It's not totally uh, without control on the mark at all now. And we're limiting the mark, and this this changes the limit of the mark. Okay. And so what happens is basically is that in in the actual sequence itself, um, it bonds. It it does a space, right, which is controlled by that and then uh, by that and then it does a mark which originally was until it moved right and it just simply waited until it moved and it kept the mark on and there was a bit of instability in it and I was just trying to work it out and I think I've understood that in actual fact I can probably revert a few steps but what I did instead is I put this on which I was thinking about anyway to actually limit the mark so that it does a space followed by a mark right and it detects the sensor position as to where to put the mark, you see. So it's using the sensors. Now, that's now using, and you can see it's quite low. I mean, the, the PWM, if you look at the actual PWM itself, if I take it off in auto, yeah, you can see the mark is, is minuscule. It's so small that this, um, this scope can't actually measure it as a square wave, I don't think. It's looking not too happy. Okay, this is one millisecond, one millisecond per division, right? And I actually have the marks on there, and that's 6.5 milliseconds, okay? So, we're talking about, you know, a mark there in the region of, you know, a few hundred microseconds. Maybe. Maybe even about 10 microseconds, I don't know. Anyway, it's a minimum mark, basically. And it's only governed by the, the, the limit of the software. So if I now bring up the mark, so that I'm actually increasing the mark's length, and you'll see it change. Uh, so what's happening here is that, let's just reduce the voltage. What's happening here is that it, it looks a bit odd. And if you look at the first one, which is showing the mark, the mark keeps changing its size. And the reason why is that's deliberate. It alters the mark. Right, and you'll see that that may alter it in, in an odd way. Sometimes it's brighter, sometimes it's darker. And what's happening is, if I put my finger on it, it's funny, it makes it actually does it's got a tune. Listen, listen to this, it's funny. That's weird, isn't it? But what it's doing is, it, is it's, it's, it's governing the mark. And it moves the step. I'm going to have to go over this again, obviously, because it's a bit complicated. But basically, what happens is, is that the mark is governed by the movement as well. So, if it moves to the next sensor, then it ends the mark as well, and it moves to the next space, you see. So, it's not just pure PWM, it's actually using the stepping as well. Right, now that's actually turning. So, if I now reduce the space, you'll see it speed up. Ooh. There we go. Now what's happening there, the reason why it's stopping is because it's actually cutting out the supply. And I think it's because it's not moved there, well, it did it again. And the reason why is because it's drawing too much power in order to make it turn. I don't know why, it might be just simply because of that. So the better way to do it is just increase the mark a bit. Right, and that gives it kind of more sort of stability now. Now we can increase the speed. Okay. No problem. And what I can do actually is I can put it onto full mark. Right, maximum mark now. So I've got it on full mark now, see? Right, 
and now I can like really easy to, I'm giving it too much space because I've got it on the full power of the power pack. And I can quite happily spin it up, can't I? See? Now I'm worried that I'm gonna lose the magnets. So I think I should glue those on. But as you can see, if it's not idling, you see that? That's not going fast, but the speed's relatively stable. Now it's noisy, and that's on purpose. I actually, no, I didn't design it definitely to be noisy, but I didn't design it to be quiet, you see. Other people design theirs to be actually quiet, and I want to actually make sure that people can actually hear the power, you see. And you can hear it, can't you? What you can also do, and this is a bit weird, this, right, if you turn that down, see, there, that's actually just a pure mark space ratio, now if I bring the mark in, it'll suddenly kick round, alright, maybe it won't suddenly kick round, but it turns, you see. Now I need to refine this because it's obviously sounding a bit rubbish. And what it is is I've got many solutions in the same bag here, and so what I need to do is refine it down again. But but you certainly can you can get it going fast, see? And then I can reduce the speed and it reduces it. Okay? If I turn the mark down, what it can do is, it, the effect is, is it can stabilise the torque. There, see? Oop, it's lost it. <laughs> yeah, there's not enough torque to actually make it turn now. There we go. I'll turn it back up again and it kicks in. Yeah. So, and if I put my finger on it, apart from it playing a tune, <laughs> what you'll see is, I'll show you this, if you put your finger on it, then you see it goes bright. See? If I just do it, I'll do it at a higher speed, it might be easier. You see? And you can see it, as I put my finger on it, the LED will light up more. There, see? Because it's, it's drawing more torque, and so that's increasing the... Look at that. As I load it, it increases the amount of power. And the way it does it is it increases the mark, you see. Space stays the same, but it actually increases the mark size. Just, what happens there is it, it's the power pack drawing too much power. You see? Yeah? It actually isn't flashing very fast. I mean, that, that's kind of what's happening there is because of the camera's shutter speed, it's actually making it look like it's it's like flickering slowly, but it isn't. It's just staying bright. Right, so that's not actually flashing now. It's just on. <laughs> okay. So as I actually draw more power, right, it increases the amount of current that's needed. You see. Which means it's more like a series round, which is good, and that's what I want. So as you load it up, it only stops because this power pack isn't up to it. I need a bigger power pack. What would probably happen is, as I put my finger on it there, it would really start to draw power, you see, and really start to become very powerful. But as it's doing it, you can always back off from the throttle a bit like that, you see. I feel like the, uh... Anyway, that's, uh... That's like using... See, that, that's just like adding the clutch in, you see. You turn that down, there's not enough power. And it's as if you bring the clutch up and then all of a sudden it actually starts moving, you see. You'll see it. There you go, there's enough power to actually turn it, and so it does. And it's a bit like using a clutch. And you can... Yeah. See? Oh, what I 
you can do is actually drop the power right down so that it's quiet, you see. I'll put it on full. Now it's quiet. And what I've done there is I've reduced the input power, you see. And now it's nice and quiet, isn't it? However, I don't need to be like that. See? So you've got the option, you can either have it loud, or you can have it quiet. <laughs> See? And you'll probably find it'll, it'll turn. There we go. See? Now it turns OK at low speeds. And that's because we're reducing the amount of power that's used. Oops. That's, uh, yeah. There we go. You see? So, on the one hand, it's at full output power and the motor's noisy, whereas on the other hand, we've reduced it effectively by a modulator, because it's a switch mode power supply, so we've modulated a PWM before the controller itself. So we've got both options, you see. Okay. What you're seeing there is the PWM input. It's not the power going to the motor, it's just the PWM input. PWM input. And so it stays based on the PWM, you see. And if I drop the uh, mark down, there you go. See? There's not enough power because the, the mark is too small compared to the space. <laughs> so that's quiet because there's not as much power being put in. And what I'd really like is to be able to do that, but on the full power pack. So we'll 